Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back. My name is Ariel and today is the first video of the new year. So happy new year to everyone. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I organize my craft supplies and I'm also gonna share with you guys some of my favorite organizers from the Dollar Tree. <music> This video is a part of the craft organization challenge. It's hosted by Teresa B. DIY and Happiness Created. I'll have the links to their channels and the playlist below. Okay, so I'm not much, like I'm a crafter, but I mainly do like bigger re DIY. So I don't have a ton of craft supplies, but and I have a small space to store my craft supplies. So this is just an area in my craft room office guest room and I just wanted to share with you guys how I share how I store a lot of my craft supplies here so starting with the bottles where I have my paint and this one is actually talcum powder and um, that's to mix to make your own chalk paint but basically what I did was I just painted the lids these are containers from the Dollar Tree and I painted the lids I store all kinds of things in here from paint to baking soda, talcum powder for mixing chalk paint. Um, I have some moss here from the Dollar Tree and just all kinds of things. And a lot of these paints I've actually just combined from sample paints that I've used in my house and made them into chalk paints using talcum powder. And I just wanted to show what the containers look like when you buy them in the Dollar Tree. They're usually in the food storage section with either a blue lid or a white lid. And these are just some binders. These are actually for my work, not for craft supplies. But I wanted to share this because these are plain binders that I covered with contact paper. And that's a part of a DIY that I did, I believe, in September of last year. And I'll have that linked in the description. But I thought I would share this anyway because... It's a good way if you wanted to store like scrap paper or something like that if you were a crafter is to store it in binders and then you can just decorate the binders to match your space using the um, contact paper. And then this rail system, I'm sure there are tutorials on the internet, but for mine, I used an Ikea curtain rod and I used some these are the plant buckets that the Dollar Tree sells in the summertime or in the springtime and they usually have like words on them that say flower garden or something and you just kind of to make them match my my space I just used nail polish remover to get the words off and then hung them using the binder clips from the Dollar Tree's school supply section. And here I'm just showing you some of what's in each one. So I have one for like my hammers and just random little tools. I have more actually in my bedroom, but my bedroom I am renovating right now or sort of renovating, I guess, I don't know. It's a major DIY project for me right now. So I have taken down everything in my bedroom, but I had another one in my bedroom as well. Another one of these rail systems where I store more of my tools and pens and pencils and things like that. And then up high here, I have my crates. These are the mini crates. I got these mini crates so long ago. The Dollar Tree now sells these mini crates in a clear version. But when I got these, um, it was like the first time for them releasing this. And it was so many years ago. I'm embarrassed to say how many years ago. I think probably over 10 years ago. And they were blue and green and really weird colors like that so i just spray painted this copper to give it that nice farmhouse look and to match my decor but you can kind of see here where the paint is chipping some and now it's a little bit blue um you can use these crates to store whatever depending on what you have but i'm just showing you guys here what i have in mind these are actually just cleaning rags because i just store stuff where I can and I thought it would look the white rags would look really really pretty um, displayed in the crate and these bags on the inside of this crate are actually just potato sack bags like actual little mini potato sack bags that my mom gave me I washed them up really good her some of her gardening potatoes whatever she ordered 
for gardening came in these things and I thought they were so cute to store stuff in so I put ribbon in mine um, at one point I had bungee cord inside of these and I've since moved those to the basement but you can store whatever you want all kinds of small things if you have any sort of small bag like this so just look around your groceries your containers in your house and you might find something really cute that you can actually store your craft supplies in but yeah these were potato sack bags and this is where i keep my ribbon and then underneath the dresser is I keep these little baskets the dresser itself is from Ikea and the two little baskets underneath are also from Ikea these are those foldable belly baskets and I keep my paint in one I don't have a ton of paint like most crafters do so this is just perfect to store the paint that I have and here is some PVC pipe like this is real life for a while there I did a lot of different DIYs for PVC pipe um, I've made curtain rods out of them I have this is actually going to be a toilet paper roll that I'm going to use in my downstairs bathroom and I've made a paper towel roll for my kitchen out of PVC pipe I have made a light fixture in this same exact room with PVC pipe so that's why I have a lot of PVC pipe so the next few things I'm going to show you are some drawer organizers and these are all either from the Dollar Tree or from another local dollar store in my area. So if there's something that's not from the Dollar Tree, um, it is from another local dollar store and I still only paid a dollar for it. Um, these, This one right here particularly is from the Dollar Tree. Usually these drawer organizers are inside of a cabinet in my bedroom but right now my bedroom is torn out and I'm in my guest room right now and that's why these drawers right here that are in that you saw you're seeing in the video are usually empty but right now they have clothes in them because I moved all my clothes in here and but I did still want to show you guys these drawer organizers because they were really good and worth sharing so if you can find them even online if you can't if they don't have these like these particular ones are not at the dollar tree but i got them at another local dollar store if you don't have a local dollar store that sells something like these then they're still good to look for online to see if you can find something similar because they're some of my favorite organizers here this one i got these little inside containers the little tiny ones that i'm going to pull out that I have glitter in um, those are actually from the Dollar Tree but the container the larger container that they're inside of is from another local dollar store now this container right here it's actually a food storage container but it is also not from the dollar tree it's from another local dollar store so if you know containers that you use they don't always have to be actual craft storage containers or art storage containers definitely look around in the kitchen aisle if you're looking for organizers because most of the organizers that i actually have for my craft supplies are from the food storage aisle in either the dollar store um, my local dollar store or in Dollar Tree they're mostly from the food storage aisle now these are tackle boxes again not from Dollar Tree but another local dollar store the Dollar Tree does sell tackle boxes but the reason why I prefer these is because they have um removable dividers um so you can put things of all kinds of different sizes you can't really change out the spacing for the dividers on the dollar tree tackle boxes but if you have things that specifically fit in those spaces i do recommend using those as well i have used those for other things but i do like these because you can 
customize the dividers and if you're looking for something like this and you don't have it in another local dollar store definitely check um a harbor freight if you have a harbor freight near you because they have tackle boxes of all different sizes um with the removable dividers as well And I wanted to share this. I made this using just some scrap wood and the gold wire baskets from the Dollar Tree. These make great spice racks, but they also make a great rack to hold small containers either of paint or containers like these that you can store some smaller bits in. I use, I'm gonna switch all of my screws over into those containers with the gold lids, but right now this is what they have them in. And both of these containers are from the Dollar Tree. This one I just spray painted the lid. You can kind of see here where it used to be red and I spray painted the lid black to match my decor in my bedroom because this is where I was keeping it before. But I'm gonna switch over to the containers with the gold lids. And I'm just showing you here where, how you would cut basically with wire cutters the gold wire baskets and then you can just staple them onto a piece of scrap wood to basically make this shelf and then mount it onto the wall. Um, and that's just an idea for paint or like I said, like small things like beads or something inside of the containers. And this is just another one of those containers from the Dollar Tree, the drawer organizers. And I'm just showing you some more. I'll show you some more of my favorite organizers and what I keep in them. On this channel, I usually share budget-friendly DIY projects that can be big and small projects. I'm going to probably do some more big projects in this new year, but I have a ton of smaller DIY projects from 2021 for you guys to check out if you guys are new to my channel. I hope you guys will consider subscribing and sticking around for more of my future DIYs. I also do budget-friendly shop with me videos and hauls, so if you're interested in that type of content, please hit the subscribe button and if you like this video be sure to leave me a like and please share my content if you know anybody else who may be interested as well these are the mini buckets from the dollar tree they're usually in the organization section during certain seasons but if you cut the handles off of these they fit perfectly in a drawer and make really good drawer organizers they fit perfectly in my Ikea drawers as well. I want to say you can probably fit 10 of those comfortably in an average size drawer. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope I was able to share some really helpful ideas on how you can store your craft supplies. And definitely check out the playlist because I know from being in the chat group for this playlist that there are some really great organization hacks included in the playlist so be sure to check that i'll have that linked in the description and i hope you guys will consider subscribing and joining me for some future videos thank you so much for watching have a great day Bye.